Hello, um, this is team seven uh, through Q to R. My name is Araceli. My name's Nancy. My name is Carlos. And I'm Emerson Romero. And we're gonna go over the Auntie Anne's case um, on target segmentation strategy. So market segmentation is where we divide the larger market into smaller markets uh, based on characteristics and needs. And we chose to use geographic location just because we can simply divide the market um, according to populations and consumer locations where there's heavy traffic and it's been proven effective uh, with their prior strategy with uh, their location uh, in high, high uh, traffic locations such as the mall. And we will target specific high volume locations such as colleges for events. It can be used as a differentiated marketing strategy, strategy mix because of the different segments it can target, depending on the positioning of it, such as you could use it for hospitals and high schools as well. We then went on to choose meaningful characteristics in the segment and how they differ from other segments. So for demographic segmentation, it is defined as usage of statistics, age, gender, and education. We uh, base the demographic by the age of 16 to 35 with the millennials of generation Y. The reasoning is because nowadays millennials are considered lazy. It has been proven with the thrive of Uber Eats along with other delivering services. Per usage rate is defined as the actual or potential consumers of a product or service. The usage we see in this segment is from light to occasional year round, but during the holidays, games and events, it is high traffic. Um, the reasoning is we target to increase the sales through the additional value of convenience, quality, ingredients and hot products. Some of the high traffic events vary from graduation, social events, gatherings of political debate, celebration for staff. Um, staff are usually the ones who buy the catering food for students to lighten up, to lighten up and keep the drive going. And for the uh, geographic segmentation, we chose urban locations that are hard to find parking to enter in high, high traffic. The reasoning is um, the parking in these areas are, fine, are hard to find and leave you having to wait certain hours for it to level down. As for the psychographic segmentation, it involves the market of consumers' activities, values, and interests. We chose the following, um, which are forces, lifestyle activities, interests, and beliefs. Simply because the lifestyle is on the go, it takes you um, always, I'm sorry, it takes for you, it takes up your time, and most of the time it's more convenient for you to just take up a quick snack on the way. For activities, oh. <laughs> activities and interests, it partakes in the community, and yeah. All right, so whenever we was creating this persona, uh, we pretty much envisioned somebody that was like Michelle Martinez, who is 22 years of age. She is the full-time, uh, she, she does work full-time and she's a part-time student. Uh, occupation would be like Best Buy, her income is like 22,000, and she drives an Impala. So lifestyle and background, Michelle is always on the go. Uh, she pretty much is that kind of girl that pretty much wakes up at 6 a.m., goes to work, spends uh, her afternoons and evenings in like classes, pretty much like us. Um, she pre she pretty much part of like a marketing association that provides like hot refreshments. Uh, pretty much for her events, these will kind of be the things that, uh, that's something that she would cater to. Important personality, personality, she's a sociable and ongoing in form of the latest places to eat and be at. Communication and technology. She's always posting on Instagram and she likes to use uh, Yelp to help others on quality services and places to eat. She loves food. Product value. She values tasty and affordable snacks, convenience for her since she's always on the go. Common objections, if the place is not full of people, if they don't go to social events or weren't active in the community. Fun facts of her, she's a tech savvy, can go without her phone like everybody else for less than six hours. 
So basically, this concludes our targeted segment on Auntie uh, Anne's. Thank you very much. Bye.